There are a lot of mobile browsers out there, but one that I keep coming back to is Kiwi Browser. Let me tell you why it's my go-to browser and what settings I use to make it my own. First off, it's fast. Here are the Speedometer 2.0 and Basemark Web 3.0 benchmark scores. Both benchmarks measure browser speed and responsiveness, and out of Chrome, Vivaldi, and Brave, Kiwi wins. I test it with fresh installs of each browser using the Poco F3. But besides benchmarks, when I review a new phone, I always install Kiwi and compare it to Chrome. And there have been multiple devices where Chrome stutters when scrolling, but Kiwi's smoother than butter, like super butter, margarine even. Kiwi has some fantastic features like a true night mode, bottom toolbar, and the hand button that makes one handed use so much easier. Seriously, check out this night mode. It's not just theming the app's interface, it's turning off pixels on otherwise non-black websites, if that's the kind of night mode you want. You can actually customize it, and I'll show you that in a minute. Those features, combined with its Chromium base, make it very familiar and easy to navigate. If you're switching to Kiwi from most other browsers, you also have more options like incognito mode, the ability to change your tab layout, unlimited ad blocker, and other typical browser settings. Another standout feature is that Kiwi is one of the few browsers with Chrome extension support, so even though it lacks some things like, for example, the ability to sync data with your desktop, you can add an extension that can enable that feature, plus a lot of other functionality. And it's really easy. Just go to the extensions web store, add an extension, then scroll down to the bottom of your menu. Not all extensions will work on mobile, but I've tried a few and most have been compatible. If you're enjoying this review so far, please tickle that like button and thank you for that. If you're wondering if Kiwi's safe, I'd say it is. It's open source with code publicly available on GitHub, maintained by a small development team that is headquartered in Estonia, which sounds exotic and it's based on Chromium, just like Chrome browser, Brave, Vivaldi, and others, and gets regular updates. Plus, Kiwi has a 4.3 star rating out of more than 60,000 reviews on the Google Play Store, and it's been downloaded more than 10 million times. So here's how I set up Kiwi on my devices. First thing is turn on night mode, and I always set my default search engine to Google when I use Kiwi. Then I turn off the homepage, because I always want Kiwi to open up whatever I was last doing. Then under accessibility settings, I turn on force enable zoom. It's a feature I don't use that often, and it doesn't really work typically, but it has come in handy a few times, so I still turn it on. I turn off edge swipe. You don't need it if you're using navigation gestures on your device. And since I'm using the Poco F3, I can't use navigation gestures with my third party launcher. So I just leave them off in Kiwi as well. So it's not so jarring when I hop out of the app and go back to three button navigation. I also suggest checking the box to optimize the extensions web store. So it's a little easier to navigate. Then under night mode settings, if you have an OLED screen, you could select the first optimized option, which does a good job at delivering a black background with color images. For the toolbar, I don't like that the address bar content disappears. So I check this box to keep it around. I always want the toolbar on screen as well, so tick that. And I really like the hand button and bottom toolbar options to make one-handed use super easy. Lastly, you can check the hide annoying ads box to get rid of most ads. And it does make pages load faster in Kiwi. I'd say I leave the ad block on about 50% of the time, depending on what I'm doing. But if you want more ad block control, you're in luck, since you can absolutely install one of many Chrome extensions that are better at ad block. If you want to check out another great app, then try this Gcam playlist right here. And please leave a comment below if you have any Kiwi questions. And as always, I will answer them perfectly. More or less, I mean.